and on up for it. Y'all heard him talk about that Tolliver Martin King? F.M. Tolliver was a brother to Craig Tolliver and Floyd Tolliver. Floyd was the first one who got shot by John Martin. And then Craig Tolliver was the sheriff here for about three years, and they finally had their big blowout right over here, and they had the final shootout day. Now, the shootout day happened when D.B. Logan, Daniel Boone Logan, he had enough of what was going on in this county. He actually went to the governor and asked the governor if he, if they could. Everybody knew what needed to happen. We needed to have a change. Tolliver's needed to be taken out. But the governor didn't give him permission. He couldn't. But he kind of nodded and gave him a wink. So DB went to Cincinnati and bought two big cases of rifles and uh, ammunition. And already had prearranged. There was he, he had told two people about what was going on. There's only two other people. Those two people told two more people each. And then those people, they recruited the people to take care of that last day in 19, in 19, 1887, June of 1887. Well, they bent down the Brady Curve, distributed all the goods and everything, and then gathered somewhere over here. But the Tollivers were over here in a motel, hotel, American, Come and, your and somebody spotted them. Oh, and that's so that's where the shoot really started out. But there were seven people that shot that day of the Tolliver clan. And F.M. Tolliver was a brother to Craig and Floyd. Craig got shot that day ago. Craig and Floyd are buried up in Ellie County, a little old place called White. It's going up 32. You go up Christie Creek 32 and turn on 173 and going toward north. Little place, little wide spot road. Francis Marion Tolliver is buried up here in the Lee Cemetery, right here in town. When F.M. Tolliver died, the judge at that time, the mayor of the city of Moorhead, he had all the businesses shut down for four hours in memory of that man. He died in, I think, about 1929, but he was revered as one of the best people that you'd ever run into. So brothers and brothers, they're not all alike. You've got different ones in different families, you know. But this old wholesale company has supplied groceries and food and roofing and any, anything that you can imagine for years. The wholesale, the, the, the freight station here, I, you might remember this. Shirley. Shirley, I'm sorry. But there was a, a, a dock, a loading dock that ran from that building all the way down here to this building. There was also a side rail that came down here where they unloaded carloads of flour or roofing or whatever they were buying. They'd unload it by the carload out on the siding here. And uh, that's what Uncle Bob was. That's what he did. He watched the, the freight coming in. Care of all that. Well, and then if I'm not mistaken, I think they had several vendors that would come in here and buy yeah. truckloads of stuff from them and go out on these little routes of these little towns and sell to you know, keep those little stores supplied. You know, Bill Richardson was uh, Sissy's uh, uncle from a bracket. Bill hauled groceries like that. He had a little truck, and he'd buy candy and cigarettes and anything that these little stores might need, and he would make the route. Well, they also had salesmen, you know, salespeople that would go out on these routes and, and take orders. And have they have the orders, they'd come back here and fill the orders, and then they'd have a delivery day to take all their groceries out. Well, you know, it was such a vital, vital uh, supply lane, not just for Round County, but by doggies, they went all the way to Morgan County, Elliott County, Lewis County, Carter County, all the surrounding counties. So, you know, this place supply. But the railroad was most important to it. Now, the people that I remember here, the person I remember most was Jack Fraley. Y'all remember Jack Fraley? How long was Jack here? I mean, was he here one year when your people was were here? Was Jack involved in? I've heard the name, I don't, I don't place it, but uh -huh. I know I, the name sounds real familiar. Uh-huh. I don't know how long he was here. He, he was here the whole time I was growing up. Uh-huh. He was okay. Rupert Harden. Rupert Harden. Rupert Harden lived in a little house right up this way. It's up the road. And, uh, you know, I guess Sissy and her daddy, her family, lived right down here in a little house by the substation. Sissy's grandmother, Royce, lived right in a little house here. Her other grandma, Davis, lived right down on the corner down there. 
but Sissy would walk to school. Right. She'd come across the tracks here and crawl under the trains, crawl under the, 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 the dock, you know, and he'd head on up to school. You know, so this place right here is just very important to a lot of people. Now, I understand that Shirley's and Don's, your dad and your dad both work here, yeah, or, or your grandfather's grandfather. grandfather. Yeah. Their grandfather worked here also, and he was one, he said he was like the, the unloading and getting yeah, his off. Yeah, he's kind of the head of the warehouse or something. Back end of it, okay. the warehouse. He spent many years there. The young people here might not believe it, but when Dad started working here, he worked for a quarter and an hour. A quarter and an hour? An hour. An hour. Well, that's a... Uh, today. Uh-huh. That's... And unloading. Uh, when you unload, when you start unloading a railroad car full of flour with 25 pound bags, that's a whole lot of flour. A lot of work. The office, I know there was an office right here, and then first there was one right here as you went in the door. Ernie Thompson was I remember the name Thompson. A lady named Liz Davis. Here the the book, work, book keeper. But you know, I guess, you know, like this Francis Marion Potter, one little story he told is that he, uh, you know, there was a couple of men that had a disagreement. Now, of course, imagine that, disagreements? Did anybody ever have disagreements? <laughs> All kinds of, well, anyway, these two fellows, they bickered back and forth, you know, they were really uh, getting bitter against one another. So finally, they went to the house, they were going to get their guns and come back and meet. Well, when they come out, the town was watching. This was the town, by the way. Yeah. First street down here, this was Main Street. This was Main, that place up there was just a side street. Yeah. This was Main Street where everything happened. It was the Main Street, but they yes. called the railroad. But they said that when those two men came out, and they were actually going to shoot, you know, to kill, FM stepped between them. FM Tolliver stepped between them, and he said, fellas, he said, I know there's got to be a better solution than this, yeah. you know, than shooting each other. Okay. Well, just by him intervening, it saved somebody because those two people became friends. And that's why one of the reasons the, you know, the county mayor, or the city mayor, or the judge, won, declared him as one of the most best people that ever lived. And they closed the town down for four hours the day that, the day that he was buried. So, you know, FM Tolliver and then all these other people worked here since, you know, uh, it's just provided a great service for the community, and it's just, and I've asked Shirley and Don, I'd like to have a little bit of information if you could write some of this stuff down for us, for the historical society. Try to do that. You know, and, uh, and Irene, I think Shirley said her, her daughter is looking in the DAR, and we need to get her hooked up with uh, Jerry. Jerry. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. But, uh, I guess, you know, where the building's open now, if you can go in and tour it, right, Timmy, I and mean, they are here, aren't they? Yes. Okay. It is open, and they asked if we was coming in, and I told them I wasn't sure at this time. But if we want to go in and tour the building, you can go in and take the tour. There's a real neat place in this room in there.